Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. And today I have a long awaited quarterly lifestyle box from Bombay and Cedar that has been sent to me for review. Not a very fancy box this time, but it is probably because it is packed to the gills with all kinds of goodness. There's definitely some weighty items in here. This is the summer lifestyle box. Now I did receive this a couple of weeks ago. So with this one, they're actually right on time. I know sometimes they're beautiful box and their monthly lifestyle box can be about a month behind in shipping but like I've been saying in my past videos they have been slowly but surely catching up you have also asked me if I had to choose one of the three Bombay and Cedar boxes. They have a monthly lifestyle, a quarterly lifestyle, and a monthly beauty box. What would I choose? I would choose, bang for your buck, I would choose the quarterly lifestyle. I think they have really unique items. That goes for all three subscriptions, but I just think the value is always really impressive. Now the quarterly box is $84.95, and that does include the shipping, I believe, but I do have an affiliate link and a coupon code for you. It is Noel 10 and that will save you 10%. Affiliate link just means that if you use that link, it'll let the company know that I'm the one who sent you there and I may receive a small con commission, but it is at no additional cost to you and it definitely helps to support the channel and keep it going and keep these boxes coming my way so that I can share them with you. So I appreciate it when you use those links and those codes. And I love when you guys let me know in the comments or even DMs over on Instagram that you did get to use one of those discount codes to get a little bit of savings. So let's Let's go ahead and dive into this summer box. I've been pretty excited about it. One of the great things about the Bombay and Cedar boxes is that there is some customization and then there is variation in what they send out to subscribers. So there is some items that everyone receives. There's some items where people get the same item but in different variations, different colors or flavors or patterns. And then there are some items where they send out an email and you get to customize. Do remember if you decide to subscribe that when you get those emails, you want to go ahead and customize as soon as possible because some of the items, some of the options will sell out. There is also a way to customize on the website. You just kind of have to scroll down under the appropriate box, but remember you can do it that way as well. All right, you guys. Now the Bombay and Cedar boxes lately because they have been a little bit behind and I have done my customization way in advance. Sometimes I forget what I chose. So. It's always a little bit interesting. Now the monthly boxes and the beauty boxes, uh, the monthly lifestyle and beauty boxes have themes, not so much for the seasonal ones. I'm just gonna put this down next to me so that I can dive into it. So this is a two-sided one and they do have it kind of divided into sections so you can see the different options that were in each of the categories. Double-sided, so sometimes I have to kind of like flip it around to find out, but it does say that the total retail value on this box was anywhere between $225 50 cents again this is on like an $85 box or all the way up to $289 depending on what they selected for you or what you selected for yourself now I'm like kind of looking and I'm remembering there were some really cool items there are a couple items that like I almost got just for the coolness just for the uniqueness but I knew that I wouldn't necessarily use them so you have to be strategic with your with your uh, selections right you want to make sure that it's something that you can either use yourself or that you can easily re-gift to someone else and we are kind of getting to that season where you can kind of justify some of your subscriptions by uh, using them for regifting for the holidays. That's what I tell myself. All right, guys, this is the first item. This is pretty cool, and I think I chose this. This is a popcorn popper optimized for eating, so it's eco-friendly collapsible silicone popcorn bowl for the microwave. I thought this was really cool. Let me see if I can go ahead and open this up. So this is what it looks like. It is a nice bright yellow to go along with that butter that you might put on there. And then it's got this vent on the top. And then this part is like this nice silicone so you can see that it just pops open. I, I don't know how this works. I've never had one of these before. So I'm learning with you in this moment. So here's our silicone bowl. And then it has like this frame on it which I think has to go on from the bottom. And then I guess you can just put your popcorn kernels in there and then put the whole thing into the microwave and then it pops right in there. That's actually really cool, isn't it, you guys? I think that's really neat. Um, I love having actual popped popcorn. I mean, I am not above microwave popcorn. That's like the easiest and it's a great snack to have, but I do love it when I do it on the stovetop. 
this seems really cool it's kind of like the best of both worlds so let me go ahead and find this on the sheet and read it to you so this was in the category where is it where is it so one of the below will be included in your box so i got the peel and pour popcorn cups and popping bowl by oh pop oh po pop i don't know how you say that you could have also gotten the desktop cornhole which i love cornhole but i don't have much room on my desktop you could have gotten a backgammon set or the take anywhere hula hoop which that's great for like health but like and i do think it's fun to struggle with a hula hoop for sure um but i just thought this was the one that i would use the most it had a 24 dollar value the hula hoop had a 42 dollar value which i think is kind of crazy but otherwise everything else was sort of similarly priced um so this was like somewhere in the middle so it does say that it's the popcorn cups and popping bowl it says these cute cups are the perfect size for after school midday munchies or any pop opportunity that may arise it's your lucky day the set includes three pop cups one flavor and a microwave popping bowl so here is my bowl let me see if i can find my popcorn cups okay, um, hopefully they're in there oh there they are that's so cool so it says like buddha <laughs> <laughs> it says stream worthy butter flavored deliciousness so we actually have three of these containers so i guess you just put those right into the bowl pour kernels and flavoring into a fully expanded bowl and cover with lid microwave until pops slow down remove the bowl from the microwave be careful the bowl will be hot firmly hold the lid and shake to distribute flavor you end up with around 20 unpopped kernels that's okay eat and repeat um so mine got a little bit bent up not a big deal except for i like to take photos of this box so the packaging got a little bent up but uh that's fine because we know what's going to happen with that popcorn that's a really cool set that was definitely an easy choice for me between a hula hoop a backgammon set and a desktop cornhole right now i want to make popcorn and i kind of love that collapsible bowl i think it's really really neat and it's very very happy in that bright yellow so that was a good start okay what else have we got in here i'm a little afraid about how precarious everything is resting all right all my packages got real beat up here real crushed but let's see this is from nourish mantra it looks like i need to get my scissors to open this up and it is a serum so you guys can see it's kind of crushed there is some overlap in products um, between the three boxes but I have never actually received a duplicate just because they're usually in categories where you can choose or I think they also keep track if you happen to have multiple subscriptions which I think is phenomenal um, but sometimes there's some overlap in the brands that are represented so nourish mantra facial serum by urban Rani or urban Rani so this is what the package looks like give me a second to find it on here so this is also on the back side. It says you would have received this or the After Sun Cooling Jelly by Canelli. And Canelli is actually the Bombay and, Sis Bombay and Cedar sister brand. They have some really nice products that we've gotten in um, lifestyle and beauty boxes from them. This has a $35 value and the uh, Canelli Jelly, <laughs> which is just fun to say, had a value of $36. So nice uh, comparable prices on that. So we just have this nice little drop bottle it says lightweight skin serum formulated with fortifying plant-based ahas skin rejuvenating vitamin b3 and c luscious fruits and vibrant botanicals and again that has a 35 dollar value so we're doing pretty good on our value already 35 dollar value and 24 dollar value on the popcorn popping set right and this is just an 84 dollar um box then we have oh we have a drink this is probably a lot of the times we get a snack or a drink sample in our boxes so this is one of the items that everyone received there were three in this particular box that everybody got this is an organic kombucha by koe koe or ko it says koe blends organic fruit juice live probiotics vitamin c and refreshing sparkling water into a craveable drink with real immunity benefits it has a three five dollar value so which is pretty good for kombucha kombucha can be pretty expensive i'm not sure about the watermelon flavor that definitely works as a summer box that definitely has a summer vibe so i get why they chose the watermelon i'm usually like a lemon ginger kombucha fan and i definitely have different kombucha brands that i like over others um but i'm also really open to trying one it's always interesting to me when it comes in a can though i usually like my kombucha in a glass jar 
All right, this, ooh, this is something that I do remember selecting as well. So you got to choose a set of two linen towels by Alt Linens, which doesn't have their, their exchange program anymore unless they started to back up. You could have gotten a linen bread bag, which was really pretty, but I don't usually keep my bread in a bread bag. Um, or you could have gotten the stoneware accessories from Danica Heirloom, and I love Danica stuff, so it's a Maison pinch bowl set, and we got four of them. It came in this little box, um, and they're kind of peeking out on this side, but I'm going to go ahead and open them. So the values on that was the linen towels were $30, the bread bag was $15, and then this was, it says anywhere between $15 and $20. Oh, because it was a stoneware accessory, so there were different things. There were like I think there was like a dipping bowl. I think there might have been like a little like creamer. There were different ceramic stoneware items to choose from. So it says these artisan table accessories are sustainable, high quality, and will add rustic luxury to any tablescape. Choose from salt and pepper shakers, pinch bowls, a garlic keeper, or a sugar pot. That's what it was. All right, so I chose the pinch bowls because I love them i love a little a little sauce bowl and um we love condiments in my house so i just thought these would be really great little soy sauce dishes right so you can see they have the two halves the two different glazes i love that kind of like natural stoneware look they're not completely round they're kind of like a little bit wonky i just thought these were really really pretty so i'm very happy to receive four of these and we have a lot of uh soy sauce and condiment dishes in my house but they're all mismatched so i'm kind of excited to have these and they're pretty like hefty they seem like they're gonna be pretty sturdy the reason all of mine are mismatched is because my husband has like thrown them into the dishwasher on occasion or just been a little bit rough with them they are dishwasher and microwave safe you guys how cool is that and I got a set of four so it was anywhere to 15 to 20 dollar value For, to me that's like totally worth five dollars a piece to have that matching set so that was a really great item I was really excited about that option here is another one where we got to choose um, and there was this was the category where there was a really cool item that I was so tempted to get but I didn't so it says uh, you could have gotten it was a barbecue briefcase you guys it looked like a little lunch box and then you opened it up and like the grill sat across it it was super duper cute I would show you this picture but it's too small that had a $40 value but it was a mini portable charcoal grill I thought it was such a great idea but then I was like when am I gonna take this little mini portable charcoal grill, get charcoal, light it, and like make one burger at a time? So I was like, it'd be great for like tailgates and stuff like that. I'm like, if I'm doing a tailgate, somebody has like a bigger hibachi or we're buying food at the ballpark, that kind of thing. So I was like, I just wouldn't use it. It would just be one of those like cool gadgets that I have with all my cool like camping stuff in the garage that I never use. So I was like, ah, oh, I'll skip that, even though it was really cool. Um, there was also a full spectrum hemp facial oil by Canalogica that had a $60 value if you like hemp products and there was an overweight recovery cream by Nuria with a $36 value. I went for something that was like a $39 value so um, I just figured I would go with this. It's the Nantucket Wine Basket by Natural Life, which is a fun brand. I just thought this would be great, again, for the holiday season for gifting because I love this chunky weave on this basket, but it's really nice. It's like lined on the interior. So for display of a nice bottle of wine or, of course, when you're going over to someone's house and you need that hostess gift, what a great, I mean, even if it goes around from friend to friend and you see people re-gifting it, what a great little carrying wine basket. It's kind of fun. It like jiggles a little bit um it has a little looseness in there but again it is lined that's so cool right i just think that was i figured i would use that more and it would be a great way of being like oh i don't have one of those like fancy wine bags but you know what i do have and i can share it with somebody and in the meantime if i get a nice bottle of wine i can just stick it in that so it says this basket is hand embroidered and features sewn in cotton lining and a handle for easy carry great for taking on a picnic or toting wine to your next party 39 dollars value i mean that seems like a high value but it does have all that embroidery on it so it's pretty detailed i thought it was pretty cute so that was my option because I couldn't see myself using the portable barbecue even though I thought the portable barbecue was really, really cool. Hey, I got an extra co-watermelon, so that's kind of cool. Also because you guys, like I said, I like to take photos and sometimes those cans come dented. I think everybody just got one and I might have just gotten an extra one, which, you know, I'm kind of okay with. So it looks like everyone received uh, this as well. So we got two lip liners and a matte lipstick by Mood Matcher. And that was actually a brand that was 
was recently featured in the beauty box so I pulled out my two matte lip liners one is in coral and one is in red that doesn't really look like coral and red to me but you know it is nice to have a lip liner so I'll probably open them up and see what their colors actually are it says enhance your makeup routine with this highly pigmented lip liner it includes one lip liner and one liquid matte lipstick um, so it's on the top it does say two lip liners and a matte lipstick uh, it has a $22 value so I mean if you actually got all three that's pretty good I don't know if I got the lipstick I did huh all right well that's actually a good color and that's actually a good match the red and the red so I do like a good matte lipstick and you guys know I do tend to like the darker colors so I will definitely check that out now mine looks like it is broken which is a little bit of a bummer um, so that's gonna be tricky to take photos of but yeah it is a little bit broken inside I don't know if you guys can see that it's cracked but I will see what I can do about that and I will ask them if they still want me to take photos of it or not I don't know how to like fix that make it look good if you guys know how to fix a broken lipstick please do let me know I wonder if it's actually broken or not huh let me see let me see if I can actually peel this off that might take a little bit more time and effort than we have in this moment because of course I like to peel things off nice and neat when I can but I also don't want the lipstick to like fall out on top of me and then we'll know for sure that it's broken let's see because you know sometimes it's hard to open up a lipstick because you don't know if you're like actually unscrewing it and you don't want to do that necessarily huh I'm like unscrewing it from the bottom I think I just broke the uh, container <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to mess with this a little bit later you guys but well I'll give you an update over on Instagram or in the comments below all right we have a couple more items to go so this is also something that I chose there was a lot of customization in this one this is kind of fun um, so didn't I I think I customized this one let's see there was one of the below an artist freehand tattoo kit by inkbox that had a $45 value or this voyage hardcover pop-up journal by Christian Lacroix that has a $50 value I just thought this looked really really cool because one Christian Lacroix but also like pop-up journal that sounded so neat to me and look how like gilded edges it is so let's see Ugh, isn't this cool Cool, you guys so look it's got like pop-up pages that you can see and then there are blank pages for journaling although I would be like very nervous about actually writing in here also just because the like pop-up pages might have a lot of texture to them oh my gosh this is so cool like look at this Mexico one you guys and then it's just like the real old-school like pop-up ones where I think there's a pull tab and everything let me see if I can get that to work Meanwhile, it says a gilded journal featuring five vibrant cities, Rome, Mumbai, Mexico City, Rio de Janeiro, and Los Angeles. Extraordinary pop-ups for each city, unlike any journal you've ever seen. Size is seven by 10, and it has 102 ruled ivory pages and 36 travel stickers with striped chevron ribbon marker. So yeah, it does have the ribbon marker. You can see that at the bottom, but look, his like jacket opens, you guys. Isn't that cool? I just think that's so neat. That's so cool. So let me just go through and uh, oh, and then we have our stickers here in the back, I think. So yeah, all these like look at look at these pages, you guys. This book is amazing. I was that was an easy choice for me. I don't know that I'll actually journal about it, but what a, it's already like a scrapbook that's already done for you. Uh, so yeah, I've been to most of those cities. So Rome, yep, Mumbai, Mexico City, Rio de Janeiro, and Los Angeles. All right, so I'll have to like journal about my experiences in all of those places. Uh, another item we would have gotten. I think this is something that everyone received it is it's the happy feet shoe Dios deodorizer by bombay and cedar oh my husband needs this this has a 19 dollars value it says this powerful spray is perfect for freshening up feet and shoes helps eliminate bad odors caused by sweat and bacteria it has a 19 dollars value i think i just like popped the cap off with the uh with the bubble wrap but i will find that but what a useful item i'm glad that everybody got that and then there's one last item that I did select, I believe, for myself. And you could have gotten the tote bag or backpack by Danica Now Designs. You guys know I love all the Danica stuff. Or you could have gotten an I Am Enough ring by All You Need Is Love. It's that same um, 
kind of twisty ring that comes in that triangle box that I can never ever open. So I went with this guy. It is a $24 value. The ring had a $25 value. It says these adorable printed cotton bags are available in several designs and colors. The style is chosen at random. So it was tote bag or backpack. So this is one of those string backpacks. I don't mind that at all. It's only printed on the one side, but I do like the fun design, the fun pattern. And these are just so great to have as like an auxiliary bag to take with you when you are traveling because sometimes you just need an extra bag and it's kind of nice sometimes for it not to be a tote bag because I have plenty of those and have the luxury of putting it on your back. So going over everything you guys, we got so much stuff in this box. We got our feet shoe deodorizer, our two lip liners and matte lipstick, hopefully mine's not broken, our organic kombucha. Then I got the wine basket which I do think is super duper cute. I got the stoneware accessories. I got those four dip bowls. Uh, and then next on top of that, I got my cute little Danica now design uh, backpack. I also got my, oh, you could have gotten a powder, a dip powder nail kit instead of the freehand tattoo kit or the pop-up journal, but I love the pop-up journal. I got my facial serum. And finally, I got that whole popcorn popping set really great box, right? I thought it was a great value. You guys let me know in the comments below what you thought, what your favorite item was. If you can, please give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.